about bringing this style of art to this area is definitely a good thing because people who aren't really exposed to it are in this area. I think it's a good thing to paint in areas that you would never expect. Chor Boogie is an artist that we commissioned to have him activate a building we own in and around Times Square, 120 West 42nd Street, which we affectionately call the Cubes. I'm painting iconic images in my style, modern hieroglyphic style. We fell in love with Chor's style, his energy, him as a person, and we wanted to bring his artistry to the blank canvas that is 120 West 42nd Street. Musical icons, musical influences, musical inspirations. So right now I'm starting on uh, Michael Jackson, definitely an inspiration and I'm rocking everybody in my style. With this development project, you can see that it's not just really trying to cater to the classic corporate America. I think it's really trying to open all walks of life and be cool in that sense, rather than just something that'll make money and do well business-wise. It'll add something that people like and want to see. We want Chore to activate the cubes in such a way that it brings not only national but global attention to the retail project here. My inspiration for my medium, for my style, you know, love is and dedication, strength, patience, tolerance, abundance, peace, genuine spiritual love, gratitude is attitude, honesty, willingness, humbleness, health, wealth, wisdom, knowledge, trust, truth, and faith, acceptance, adjustments, intentions, enthusiasm, and balance is what I throw on that wall or on any surface. Chor's vision to highlight the greats in American culture. There's a lot of artists out there that have their versions of what pop art is, especially using icons, flipping them up, doing their style with pop icon art. This is my version. It's crazy to see from day to day the progress that he makes and then also just what, what he can do with just a spray can. Is, it's amazing to see and I've, I've never been exposed to it personally before so to be able to see it step by step really grow, it's, it's very cool. We did get a lot of attention from outside the complex, people taking pictures and everything. You know, that was a beautiful thing. People were being exposed. Because this doesn't happen here in Times Square, like Manhattan, or in this area. Nobody's painting down here. Nobody's doing a mural with spray paint out here, especially what they want to paint. And that was a good thing about the owners. They gave me the creative freedom to do what I wanted to do as long as it didn't get them in trouble or anything. I do have my original style when it comes to modern hieroglyphics and, uh, you know, the street romantic voodoo that I have going on. These different signature styles that point Chore Boogie out. The Boogie Bird, the Gold Tooth, they're not rotten teeth. They're not yellow teeth. They are gold teeth. 
you don't get a twist. And then uh, the stained glass tubes, everything. The detailed spots that stand out within the image that have movement, that flow. That makes the chore boogie piece. I can't hate on Michael at all or Madonna, but when it comes to uh, specifics, I just really, really like the extreme detail that he's able to use in all of his work. The sparkling of the gloves, let alone to the different colored tiles and painted glass throughout the whole thing. It, it's just incredible what he's able to do with a can of paint, really. It's hard not to appreciate it. Music is something that crosses all demographics and it excites me that Shore chose to highlight them in this huge mural. And in his style with the stained glass, it's almost reverential in the way that he treats on Madonna and the late Michael Jackson. I think it's bright, I think it's energetic, I think it's spiritual, I think it's detailed, I think it's awesome. It's a charity event for the arts for, for children. It's a big egg, two feet by three feet. I painted a stained glass boogie bird on there. And it's sponsored by Equity Office. And you know, all proceeds go to charity. The Boogie Bird is the beauty of simplicity. It's the simple side of what I do. I decided to create this character that was just simple and just quick for me to paint. It's the experience of painting 30 days straight had a balance of everything, you know, frustration, good, bad. It's crazy, my body is still sore. 30 days straight, 12 hours a day was definitely a challenge. to fucking change anybody's mind or force feed anybody my artwork, you know what I mean? I just paint it, and if they love it, they love it. If they hate it, they hate it. My name is Shore Boogie, C-H-O-R-B-O-O-G-I-E, and I am an artist.